Security protocols deactivated. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yeah. Might as well. Oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's up everybody? Night Cove the Fox here and welcome back to potentially maybe our final episode of Ruin. We'll find out. But we left off in Phaser Blast. Err. And we are about to deactivate, hopefully, the last of the nodes. Oh. My shock belt is very squeaky this morning. Anyways. Bad Bear. Right. We haven't even seen Freddy yet. But the teaser suggested that he would be here, so... Bad Bear. <laughs> Interesting. It'll be fascinating to see if he's corrupted now, or if he's still a good guy, you know? Should be quite interesting to see. Alright, is there anything I should be wary of in here? Whoa. Oh, what is that? It's a bunch of, like, staff bot hands. What's that? Did he say don't leave me like this? Interesting. Huh. Now why would Freddy be... in Phaser Blaster? Oh, please don't sit up or anything. Just, just stay. Just stay down, man. Just stay down. Hi. What are those? Oh, they're like phaser blaster guns without... Oh, I don't know what that is, actually. It's not a phaser blaster. We know what a phaser blaster looks like. And it does not look like that. Okay, that's a circle. Ah, I see a thingy. I think? Yeah. Land Freddy! I'm getting to the raceway. Okay. So, oh right, I've, I already tried this direction. So I gotta go. Nope, that's another circle. Where am I? I'm already lost! I just entered the maze and I don't even know where I'm going. Where am I going? <laughs> Where? Why am I so turned around? Ah, I see, I see. Aha. Oh, another weird portal. Oh. Ah, here we go. So. Got one. Oh no, I can't take my mask off now. That's terrifying. Oh, here we go. Okay. Where's your stupid inhibitor, bro? Where's your inhibitor? Ooh, shiny. Where's your inhibitor? Where is it? Where, where, where? Ah! Oh, oh, I'm running right into you. <laughs> um. No. No thank you. I really don't want your cookies. Uh, thanks. Oh hey, it's right here. Shh! You don't- you don't know! You don't know! You don't know! You couldn't possibly know! You wouldn't know! You would never know! You would never know! You- you could never. You could never. You would never. You can never. That's a dead end, isn't it? Oh, that's not good. Oh, he coming! Oh-ho! Oh, he's mad! Oh, somebody's mad. Oh, somebody's mad. Oh, somebody's very mad. Oh, somebody's very mad. Go, 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 please go, 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 please. I'm never gonna make it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, go. Oh no, it doesn't go that way. Oh no. He's on my ass right now, isn't he? <laughs> he's, 
He is currently sniffing my ass, isn't he? He is on me. You don't know how. Get let me through. Let me through. Oh. He couldn't possibly know. He he could never ever know. He didn't know. I oh. Prototype. Prototype. Is that an important? Freddy. Oh. Freddy, are you okay? Oh, oh. oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What the fast fuck? His stomach is a mouth! What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! 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 Oh, his stomach is a mouth. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, touch it. Touch it. <sighs> what have they done to him? What do I do? What do I do? No! Oh, he had a present in there. Okay, so it said prototype on his foot, so I don't think that's our Freddy. I don't think that's real Freddy. There's the inhibitor! Uh. What? Whoa, he just disappears when you put the, whoa. What? Oh, he's still coming. Oh, not you. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can only handle so much. Oh my God, Cassie, don't run out of sprint. Don't run out of sprint. I don't think that's gonna help me at all. Oh my god, go! Okay, take your mask off. I don't think you need it. Oh my god! So much is happening right now! You can't just throw this much shit at me! <sighs> oh. Hi, Helpy. Thanks for cooking my pizza for me while the game renders. I appreciate it. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Ah, oh, that was terrifying. So what? where's real Freddy? Probably if he is trapped somewhere and still alive at all, it would be with Gregory if it was the burn trap ending, right? Because they were running out together. That heavenly hill at the end of that ending credit scene really starting to make more sense now if that's not how it truly went. Just saying. I don't think that sentence made sense, but that's that's okay. I'm not here to make sense. I'm here to play a game uh, in the worst way possible. Cassie, can you hear me? I finally have a clear signal. Gregory, I shut down all the security nodes. I'm in the Roxy party garage. Am I close? Almost. There's still one node left that's keeping the underground sealed. Where? Why is Roxy's this voice weird? Roxy's the final node. You need to deactivate her. But... Deactivate her. And save me. Save me, Cassie. Please. It's mm. so dark down mm. here. That's not Gregory. That is not Gregory. That is not. Save me, Cassie. Save, save me. No. That is... That is... Oh. Goopy man, come here. Genie man. Is this you? Are you luring me down there to like set you free into the real world? 
Is this is this another glitch trap scenario where you're you just want to integrate, you want to assimilate, whatever? I get it now. Is that what it's gonna be? Ugh, because that is not Gregory. It cannot be. Whether or not Gregory is alive, I don't know. Maybe. Whoops. Maybe he could be. I don't know. But is. Whoever is speaking to us and calling us here Gregory, no. I 100% do not believe that that is Gregory. If Gregory is alive, he's probably being held hostage down there. And he- <laughs> I can only imagine that once we get down there, he's gonna be like, Ah, you fell for it. You shouldn't have come here. That wasn't me. And it'll be this whole big thing, and it'll all be terrible, and we'll be bamboozled, and get f Genie Rabbit Man will get the last laugh, and it's gonna be awful. Ugh. Okay, are there any gifts in here? No. Okay. What about? Aha! Ugh! Aw. Oh, <laughs> there was an opening right here. Ah. <laughs> uh. A lunchbox! Cute. Another one. Ah, uh, I remember back in the old days when this place was up and running. Actually, it wasn't. Roxy Race- we've never seen Roxy's Raceway up and running. It's always been down. So this isn't too far off from what we're used to. Oh. Why do I feel like- is there something, like, up here? No. Okay. So it's- it's- My hair is ruined. Ha! It's ruined. Ha 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 ha. Ah That's so funny, Roxanne. You're so funny. Oh my god. That looks, um, safe. That looks really safe. I'm gonna walk right over it. Oh, this looks even safer! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, no, this all sounds and looks very safe. There's nothing that could possibly... Um... Is it- where is it coming from? Oh! Oh, I didn't even... Oh, she's stu- how did you get like that? Roxy. Cassie. Cassie. Welcome back, Cassie. You remember me? Oh. Oh, we do have a connection. What's going on here? Oh. Where are you? Can are you gonna eat my face? Your special day. I remember. Your special day. Oh. Do you still like carrot cake? It has been some time since I saw you last. If I remember correctly, it is on the 11th. I remember because you are number one. Twice. Aww. Have you booked your party? I'm sure your friends will show up this time. Oh. What am I holding E to use? Am I rebooting you? What's going on? Cassie? What are you doing? Oh. Connect the matching holograms. Okay. So sorry. I love carrot cake. Happy birthday, Cassie. Fox. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. That's so sad! Oh, she was Cassie's favorite, and she remembered Cassie, and it was so cute, and we just killed her! I think, is she dead? Why didn't we just put her out of her misery? What happened? Oh, why is it now that these characters are so, like, ruined beyond repair that we're finally catching glimpses of their, like, kind side. Like, same thing with, uh, Sun. 
Like, he was really gentle. And now Roxy's, like, really gentle. Monty's just a shark. A chica. But, like, we're getting these, like, heartfelt, kind of soft moments with these guys, which is just crazy. I should probably take this off. <laughs> I'm so glad that Rabbit Man didn't spawn behind me just now and scare the crap out of me mid-thought, but that's so sad. I thought, oh man, I thought we would have a chance to work together or something. Oh, that's, that's so sad. Okay, um, there was something, no, it's just the outline of where it is. Oh, it's like I can still hear her voice. Oh. Lost, but never forgotten. Oh, so sad. Okay, I don't think... Uh. Okay, I don't think there's anything that I specifically need the mask for. Oh, we're here. Oh my god, we're here. This is the door. Oh my god, guys. Oh. Oh, is it just- is it just open? Oh, it is. <laughs> I didn't have my flashlight turned on. Oh, Jesus, helpy, you scared me! Well done, that was the last security note. I have located the source of your friend's radio signal. It is coming from under the raceway. Warning, you are now leaving the Vanny Network coverage zone. Oh, well, at least that means that, um, creepy genie rabbit man can't get me, right? Right? Yeah! Totally! Oh... Oh boy, wow. Ah, it's... Oh, girl, are you okay? Is everything catching up to you? Did you just, you just need to shed a couple tears real quick? Are you, are you okay? Ah, but it is weird being back here. Wow. Everything's a lot more open now, because we don't need a giant bear to escort us around. We can do it ourselves. <laughs> Girl, are you okay? Do you need, do you need like a minute <laughs> before you descend into possible death and hell for a friend that... <laughs> Oh my god, girl. Oh, I think she's probably sad over Roxanne. That's why she's- She doesn't care about Gregory. <laughs> oh my god, this poor girl. Oh god. This- Ugh! This DLC is so good. And so terrible. <laughs> so sad. Oh my god, this is chilling. I hate this elevator ride. This is the worst elevator ride of my life. Oh god, here we are. This is Burn Trap's lair. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa, what am I looking at? Oh, it has an eyeball in it. Did it always have an eyeball in it? I don't remember. The giant Freddy. The layout is different in here as well. Oh, something... Wow, something literally did tunnel its way out of here. What is this? Oh, was it? Oh, God. Oh, whatever happened to the blob? Oh, whatever happened to the blob? Oh, no. I forgot about the blob. I was just thinking about burn trap. I didn't even... I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even think about the blob. Look at the holes. Those are tentacle holes, aren't they? Oh! <sighs> Guys, the roots. The fucking roots. If you know, you know. Oh my god, no. No, no, no! Oh! POV, you're a mole and you've tunneled your way through the pizza plex. It's just a giant mole rat. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. 
There we go. I just had to wiggle around a little. Oh, what is this? How have we somehow gone deeper? And are those glowing mushrooms? Are those glowing mushrooms? They are not? Are? Are they mushrooms? Rocks? Slime? We're in a freaking cave, dude! What the heck? It's just a full ass cave! With blood water in it. I think that's just the way the light reflects, but still. What is this place? So you're trying to tell me that this has potentially also been here the whole time? Just a giant cavern full of glowing slime or mushrooms, whatever that is? It really looks like mushrooms to me. No! Oh, no, God. No, no, no. Come on! Stupid flashlights! Great! We didn't need light! Our eyes can adjust to the darkness. Oh god, is Shark Monty gonna come back? I'm so scared. I'm so scared for my toes right now. I'm so scared. I kind of wanted to check out over here. Ah, yeah, see. Collect? Oh. <laughs> I thought I was collecting stalagmites. I thought I was gonna break off a chunk. I didn't even look over to see the, the gift that was very obviously sitting there in front of my face. Because it was too obvious, you know? Oh, another one. I wonder what the point of collecting the... Yeah, fast tokens. What are, What is that uh, for, exactly? We haven't had to use fast tokens at any point thus far, so... What would we use them for now, at this point in the game? When clearly we're beyond any point that would require fast coins. back here. More mushrooms. But no present. Interesting. Gosh, what what is this place supposed to be? Why is there a whole ass cavern down? How much time has passed, I wonder? Because if between the, t the amount of time it would take between Gregory's timeline in this place, right? And now, for the place to be this decrepit, don't you think if Gregory were truly trapped down here with no food, no water, no toilet, he would be dead by now? Food for thought. Ugh. What is this? And now we're in a building again. See, what? Uh, is this still gonna be a part of, um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria? Or Pizza Place? Which we figured out was most likely the place Henry burned everything down. So, Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator era? Hence why Burn Trap was down there and we kind of thought, oh my god, he survived the fire. And then Mimic Theory started popping up and we said, never mind, that might not be the case. And now the fandom is kind of divided, so I'm interested to see if this is going to answer anything. <laughs> like, I, I want to know. I, I want to know so badly. Weird zappy noises happening. <gasps> candy Cadet! I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day. Every day. Candy. 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 Okay. Candy. So if we weren't sure before, this is definitely the place. This is Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, which has now become fused to a cavern <laughs> somehow. It just keeps expanding. Now I will tell you a story about a mother and a little boy who lived alone in a cabin in the dark woods. There was a monster in the woods. <gasps> That's what the first of the caught it and kept it locked in the basement. The monster always made scary noises at night, but the mother would tell the boy not to worry because it could never get out. Then she would sing the boy a lullaby to sleep. One day, the monster stopped crawling and instead listened and learned the lullaby. 
the next day when my mother went out to find food, the monster sang a lullaby from the basement. The little boy heard the lullaby and opened the door. <laughs> Is that what the fast tokens were for, or was I able to just use it normally? I'm curious, if anyone's played this, and they didn't have fast coins on them, could you still interact? Yeah, I'd be curious to know, if I hadn't picked up all of those fast coins, would I have been able to hear all that? And also, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think all of that means. Because once again, Candy Cadet telling a story that's clearly a metaphor or a symbol for something else that's going on here. So, you could read into that quite a bit, I'm sure. Whoa. It's a very kind of cabin-y looking area after he just told a story about a cabin. Whoa. Makes me wonder how much of this place was already part of Fazbear's Pizza Plate? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place? Yeah. Or, um, how much of it was added to later on when it was excavated, if it ever was, which I'm sure it was. Whoa, are we in the air? Whoa! <gasps> We're in it! Look, you can see Why the fire! Why are there burners everywhere? Oh, It's like the inside of an oven. You might not want to walk on that, Cassie. Wow, this is cool. We actually get to see what Burn Trap saw walking through. That's his little... Is he still in there? Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. No, nah, he ain't in there. Or he is. He's just a real solid sleeper. But... Uh, at the under... Uh, <laughs> at the other end of that vent is where we were Gregory. I like that they added the detail of the burners here. So this is definitely how Henry burned everything. There's like burners on the ground that just ignited the place. Oof, that's cool to see that in like a real setting like this is so neat. I can picture his speech in my head right now, but for one of you, the deepest or darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. Such a good speech. Ah. Another present. It's another Faz token. Wait, can I backtrack to Candy Cadet then? Wait. Should I? Wait. Can I? Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Will it let me interact again? No. Okay, he's he's just out for the count. Okay. So maybe it has nothing to do with the Faz coins I've picked up. I was curious, though, to see if, like, if you were dedicated enough to run all the way back up there, and it did have something to do with the Faz coins I picked up, um, that you could get one more line out of him if he went all the way back, and it would mean something, you know, riveting. I don't know, but apparently not. Probably reading too much into it, but it would have been cool. Got a... Oh. Got this thing here. Another one of these! Let's go. There we go. Nice. Oh, what am I clipping through? Oh, I was clipping through the door. Whoopsie. Is there anything over here? There is! Another present! Uh. Give me. Oh, the <laughs> oh, that one's my favorite so far. That's clearly in reference to this ending. The burn trap ending. I don't even know if that's the official name for that ending or not. I think it might more so- whoops, wrong door. <laughs> might more so just be like a fanon name, I'm not sure. A fan-made name? Just as Burn Trap is not even a canon name, I don't think. It's just something we've done as fans. Go towards the green light. Glowing mushrooms. Wow. 
Okay, but seriously, what is with the green mushrooms? Is that like remnant infused mushrooms? What is going on? Is the whole place quite literally just physically and digitally and meta universally poisoned with evil now? There's a little bag. Oh, it was glowing, so I thought maybe I could pick it up or something. Nope. Sad. Oh, M-X-E-S. Oh, and it's all glitchy. What is this? M-X-E-S. Now, what could that stand for? My xylophone eats shit. Mixes. Interesting. Ah, everything's glitchy like I should be- Oh, hey, I can. Ah, I didn't realize that I could actually put it on now. Ah, there's the threshold. Yeah, right there. Interesting. So in this specific area, I can access it? Oh, those look like two disembodied rabbit ears. Oh, it looks like one of the interfaces that you have to, like, break the nodes to, but it looks fallen apart already. Yeah, all of these look like pieces of rabbit scattered about. Because, look, you can see the ears. Whoa. So there's a door there. Can I even interact with this? I don't think I can. It's just there. Huh. Weird. Oh, oh, now I- oh, I can! I can use it when I have my mask on. Oh. Security protocols deactivated. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yep. Might as well. Oh. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, that was a bad idea. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. He got yoinked. Gregory! Are you in there? The stupid door won't open. Well, well it's concrete. The it door looks is like concrete. someone poured concrete over the door? How am I supposed to get rid of concrete? <laughs> How am I supposed to get rid of concrete, Gregory? It's concrete, Gregory. What do you expect me to do about concrete, Gregory? Is it as simple as me just taking my mask off again? No. Okay. So. Can I interact with this now? I can. Alright. Oh, wow. All of them are, like, almost the same. Alright. Whoa, what the? Gregory, you okay? <laughs> Why did it make the forklift do that? Jesus Christ! Oh. You saved me! You saved me! Oh, Gregory? see, it's question marks now. It's question marks now! It's question marks now! Uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? You're not Gregory. What are you? What are you? No! <laughs> no! It's the Mimic! Run! Roxy! It's the Mimic! That was an endoskeleton! Fuck! Gregory? Oh god, I'm driving. Oh, what am I doing? Shit! This thing in the basement sounds just like you. How do I know this is you for real? Is there another option? You need to get out of there now! How? I burned his exit to the building map. Just follow the instructions. No, 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 Holy shit! I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god, I really- Oh my god, go! Yeah, I know! I'm out of sprint, so it's kind of a problem, Gregory. I'm really trying. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going! I'm going right! I've been taking nothing but rights! I'm going! 
go! Oh, which door? I'm going right again. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> go, Cassie, please, you're spamming and slack. <laughs> oh my god, no! No! Oh, it's right behind me! Oh, shit! Oh! oh my god, go! Go, 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 go! Bit? You were never supposed to go to the pizza plex. That thing in the sinkhole tricked you. I really don't know what it is, but it's been trapped down here a really long time. The Nexus security program was designed to keep it hidden, but you shut down the security. And now it's free. It's not your fault. I know you did it for me. To save me. But we can't risk being followed. I'm sorry. Gregory? What? Ah! What? shit oh my god I can't there's no fucking way <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment of silence um for these credits to Except for my shock mount, she has a lot to say, apparently. But I... Oh, I want to see if there's going to be anything after the credits. Um, wow. 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 Oh, we have so much to talk about, don't we? We have so much to talk about and there has to be more than that ending there were golden plushies again there were caution wet floor sign bots that you can deactivate so if not just simply for the achievements I do suspect that there's a lot I could have missed and that I could go back to oh, wow Cassie What? That's it? Oh my god! Holy shit. Guys. Oh my- I, I think the mimic is canon. I mean, we kind of knew that because Tales from the Pizzaplex, clearly, I haven't read it. Let's be clear, I have not read a single story from any of the Tales from the Pizzaplex series. I have not touched it yet. I might now. Um, but that had to be the mimic. Because it was an endoskeleton. It's... I mean, that's it. <laughs> 
It, the one thing we could have been looking out for to know whether or not it was the Mimic is, is it going to be an endoskeleton? There it is. It was literally an endoskeleton. And did we see Burn Trap anywhere? No. So could it have shed its skin off? And just gone back to its regular endoskeleton form? Very well could have been. If Burn Trap had been Mimic all along? Who knows? That's insane. There's a lot to unpack there. I'm very not educated when it comes to the whole Mimic situation, so everything I just said could have made zero sense. But what I do know is that that is going to stir up so much dust in the air surrounding this Mimic Theory situation. That... I mean, one glance. One glance, and you just knew. If you know, you know. If you knew, you knew. One glance. Red eyes. Bingo. Endoskeleton steps forward. Bam. Right in your face. And never has Scott answered a question so obviously like that. Never. Well, actually, maybe he has a couple of times. I can't think of any examples right now. But just to have that answer. Because I'm pre it's pretty clear. I mean, again, I have not read the story, so correct me if I'm wrong, I guess. But that seemed pretty straightforward. That maybe even if Burn Trap is not the mimic, let's say that. Let's say Burn Trap was genuinely the remains of William Afton trapped down there after Henry's fire and his whole speech and spiel. But let's say that at least this thing posing as Gregory is the mimic, right? It's an endoskeleton. It matches the description. It fits. I don't know what other argument you can make other than, yes, it was the mimic that was luring us down there all along. But, God, the real kicker is that Gregory betrays us. A damn child! <laughs> the audacity of this kid. He knows more than he's letting on. A lot of time has had to have passed between this DLC and wherever Gregory left off. So he's probably learned a lot. He went in clueless, we went in clueless, but between the gaps of time it took between his ending and our ending, he seems to have learned a lot about this world that's developing. And he knew enough about it to know that he had to get rid of us. So that's... That's dark. A child turning on his own child friend. That's- that's cold. <laughs> that's cold, Gregory! I rooted for you when I played as you in the first game, but that was cold, man. That was cold. My god, in that cave! The cave with the glowing mushrooms. What is that? A and Genie Man! We never really got a clear answer as to what Genie Man was. What- what's Genie Rabbit Man supposed to be? I mean, clearly he's like a digital manifestation of some sort of viral spread, but is he directly tied to the Mimic? Was he- did he share the same motive, or was he an extension of- like, was he one of Mimic's spawns, right? Like, was he directly connected to the Mimic and its intentions, or was it just there? I mean, he never killed me. Once. I never got jump scared by Genie Man once ever. So I'm wondering, was he even a threat? This entire time, was he even a threat? I never got killed by him. I mean, it was also probably because I took my mask off in time every single time. If I had stood there, then maybe he would have gotten me. I mean, that last puzzle I was doing in Phaser Blaster, he was like on me and I didn't die. So... I don't know if that moment was specifically because the pacing of the game, like, disabled the ability to die there, and it was just, it spawned him to create tension or suspense to, like, speed up the, I don't know. But he didn't kill me. My point is, he's never killed me, so I, I don't know about that guy. He was weird. I mean, he was clearly trying to stop us, so maybe he had good intentions this is, maybe genie man was just trying to be like hey man you don't know what you're about to release you might want to stop i'm placing these inhibitors to stop you for your own good cuz he never killed us i mean maybe when i start watching other playthroughs i can see if other people die by him for waiting for too long with the mask on but i mean it seems like 
he is the reason that you'd have to control how much or limit how much you're able to use the mask and its advantages, right? On top of the fact of just certain areas of the map you physically can't get past if you have the mask on. But... I don't know. Genie Man fascinates me. I don't know what his point was or what he is. Clearly, he may seem tied to Princess Quest? Which we never saw any more of Vanny. Unless that was Vanny. Maybe Genie Man was a, a digital manifestation of Vanny. Maybe she was trying to stop us. I don't know. There's a whole lot to unpack there. My theories are probably un uneducated and a bit naive or just very plain, but now that I've beaten it, I can finally start um, watching or reading into other people's theories. Because like I said, I wanted to go into this blindly and make sure that I had no ideas or expectations or theories that were like too grand already in my head. I just wanted to play this as it was and just see what happens so that I can, you know, interpret it without bias towards wanting it to be a certain way you know what i mean or having an idea already in my head like i said so but um enough about lore because god y'all can go nuts in the comments now i mean share your theories honestly i want to know what you think about this people who have read the books tales from the pizza plex how does this tie into the mimic if at all i think it's pretty obvious i think that was him i think that's his first like officially confirmed game appearance since being announced as a character at all that has any sort of importance. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the Mimic reveal at first, just because I didn't realize that it was probably a thing that had been planned for years. Um, but once I realized that, I was like, oh wow, this is actually probably just brilliant writing. Like, developing this character in secret all this time to reveal it in a project as grand as this. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see it all come together. Um, but like I said, enough about lore. Let's talk about um, just the game. Um, I loved it. I would say my experience with this absolutely blows Security Breach as a base game out of the water. This DLC, I would immediately vote above Security Breach 110%. There was so much improvement done here. There were a couple of possible bugs, I think, maybe. That Chica thing was weird. Um, in that digital world with, like, all the pulsations and, and finding the matching symbols on the computer and the cameras. And then whenever I would sprint, it would trigger a Chica jump scare for some reason. That didn't feel right. That felt like a bug. But let me know if it happens to any of you guys. If you play it yourself or watch another playthrough and it happens... Like, come back and comment and let me know, because I'm really curious to know if that's just a bug that I ran into, or if it's an intentional mechanic. But I feel like they should have... I, I don't know. They could have gone differently about the whole don't run thing in that case, because really the only difference was I just couldn't run. So, just walk, I guess, for that section, um, if you want to play it safe. But yeah, overall the game seemed far more polished than Security Breach did. I know Security Breach was most likely rushed a lot because just of the insurmountable amount of... <laughs> uh, that probably doesn't make sense. The, the great vast amount of pressure that was put on them to meet a deadline. And it was a very big bite to, you know, to chew. And I think they did the best they could with Security Breach given the time and probably a million other circumstances, and I still love that game too. It was frustrating, it was broken, but honestly, it kind of had a charm because of it, and I still look back very fondly on Security Breach, but man, this DLC, they made it right. This was done brilliantly. I loved immediately the first impression when you enter the building, and you see the lobby, and you see the damage, and there's already context clues everywhere for you to find, and the sound design immediately Oh, you know me. I, I love sound. Um, visually, I think it was great. I like that they didn't spend so much time worrying about the fancy smancy, sh fancy schmancy, like ray tracing, colorful lights. Look at how dazzling it looks. You could tell they focused more on the game this time, which is nice. Um, 
And the graphics were still fine. I mean, it looked good. It ran fine most of the time. There was a bit of lag, some some frame lag here and there. Uh, but nothing that ever caused as much rage as the first game did. It wasn't broken by any means. At least not for me. For my experience, the most broken thing was probably just that Chica hiccup. And I don't even know if that was broken. It might have been on purpose. I, I just don't know. But I think this was lovely. I love that they focused on the horror as well. They brought the scares back. Um, the first, okay, the first section of the game when it was just cheap jump scare after cheap jump scare of like objects falling in. And you know, it, it was okay. I mean, I like that they were just trying to get you jumpy. So they were trying to immerse you very quickly and I didn't mind it so much. Um, it was a little silly after a while, but it did get me every time, so... I mean, it worked. It did its job, so... Yeah, I I don't have really any complaints about this. Um, the, the direction they must be taking the story is is so expansive now. And this, this makes me even more excited to see what FNAF VR 2 is going to be like. Because we already know, just based off of the two teasers for both this and that that the universes are most likely going to be tied together, as well as us already knowing that FNAF VR and this world coexist, and this DLC really strengthens that. So, I'm very interested to see what the future of Five Nights at Freddy's holds. Of course, I'm always here for it. Um, I really loved playing this. I played it in one sitting, took me eight hours, officially, it has been. Seven and a half, actually, because I started playing it around 12.30. Not too bad. I would say that the the runtime, the pacing, it was all much better than Security Breach. Security Breach made you run pointlessly back and forth. Well, not pointlessly, there were tasks, but still it felt tedious. You had to go back and forth and repeat a lot of stuff. Um, and it just felt like you were running errands um, with some scares sprinkled in or some frustrating and very overly punishing sequences thrown in. But this, the pacing was linear, it was straightforward, I never was really confused confused. Like, I got lost a couple of times, but that's kind of natural when it comes to open world. Well, not open world, but just big world um, exploring games like this, where you have to kind of figure out what to do. And I like that challenge. I like the, the brain stimulation of having to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know, how to solve puzzles. And I like that they leaned more into that instead of just like, okay, repeat these tasks, go back and forth, do this checklist, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, you unlocked a new area, do more checklist, blah, blah, blah. Upgrade Freddy, shove a beak up his ass. There you go, woo, it's 6 a.m., goodbye. You know, I, I don't know, the pacing of Security Breach was just a bit, I don't know. Again, the game was rushed, so I think it could have been a lot better with more time. But this DLC, beautiful. I loved it, I enjoyed it. Um, if you guys decide to play it for yourself, um, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Give me your reviews. I would like to see what you thought. And your theories. Like I said, this, to me, confirms the Mimic's existence. So, I'm really interested to see if the Mimic will become the new villain. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where Five Nights at Freddy's goes after this. You know, we'll get FNAF VR Help Wanted 2 next. That's coming out in December. And the movie. Not that that's tied into these. That's a completely separate thing. Um, but just the FNAF fans are eating really well this year. We are eating. We are stuffed. Full of really good content. And boy, it was a blast playing this. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this series. If I come to find out that there are more than one ending. If there are several endings. Um... I will come back to this. I enjoyed it enough. It, if I could get through Security Breach with how much frustration and the lack of sleep I had, and there were six endings, I'm sure I could come back to this. So I would be more than happy to play this again and try for completion um, if I find out that that's a thing. Or if it's just the one bad ending where Gregory betrays you and throws you down an elevator, then cool, I guess. <laughs> what a What a riveting end. Poor Cassie. That girl. Oh, God. You really sympathize. Alright, well, I'm gonna shut up now. I am exhausted. I still have to edit. It is now 8 a.m. And I still have to edit the first episode to get it out in time. So, off to editing I go. But thank you all so much for watching this. Again, I, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, 
please like these episodes, share them, you know, comment on them, interact. It really helps, and it means a lot to me. And I was glad to have you all along for the ride. And if you're not subscribed, stick around. I, I am a FNAF content creator. I am a nerdcore music artist, so I make a lot of songs about Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, and I do cosplay content as well. And I do gameplay occasionally when there is a new drop. So I also do some non-FNAF related content, just not as often. But if you're a FNAF fan, you'll like it here. But anyways, thank you all. I appreciate you. And yeah, always remember, stay bright because you're a star. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.